One day, I was sitting in class talking with my friend about day trading. He basically told me that most of it is just pattern recognition and knowing the signs to buy and sell. This got me thinking about how AI is really good at pattern recognition, so maybe I could train an AI to trade stocks or crypto for me. After learning about how neural networks worked, I decided to give this project a go, and here's how it went. The first thing I did was research how to create an AI in Python, my programming language of choice. I came across two options to use, a library called PyTorch or another one called TensorFlow. I went with PyTorch because it simply made more sense to me and it seemed a lot easier to pick up. After following a few basic tutorials on how to make neural networks, I'd figured out all I needed to know to start making the Bitcoin trading AI. To create this AI, I downloaded Bitcoin price data for all of 2017. I would have downloaded some more up-to-date data, but it was mostly locked behind paywalls and I didn't feel like paying money for this video, so I settled for some older data because it will work fine. Then I formatted this data into chunks which were a 5 hour percentage change, a 2 hour percentage change, and a 1 hour percentage change. This way I could feed my AI the data from the past 5 hours, and if everything went to plan, it would output an accurate prediction of the price in one hour. Then I started training my AI. I created this function that builds a neural network and then it lets the AI train on the data I gave it and come up with a prediction. If the prediction is accurate, the AI is rewarded, causing it to make a more accurate prediction in the future. In this way, the AI is sort of evolving, just like creatures do in nature. After 5,000 generations, the AI was very accurate and generally predicted correctly 90% of the time. I'm really glad the AI worked the first time, as training it took over an hour and I didn't feel like waiting that long again. After trading my AI, I wanted to test it in the 2017 data to see if I hypothetically let it trade on its own, would it be profitable or not? So I let it run for an entire simulated year since I couldn't be bothered waiting an actual year just to see if it worked or not. I let the AI start out with a thousand fake dollars, and after one year it had turned that a thousand dollars into $52,461, which is really impressive. To be fair, Bitcoin itself increased over 15 times in 2017, so it would be pretty hard for the AI to lose money this year, but it's still impressive that it made more than three times as much money than if it just held Bitcoin from the start of the year to the end of the year. The next logical step for me was to test my AI on current Bitcoin prices. Unfortunately, I can't really get my hands on recent data without paying money for an API, which I don't want to do. I could, however, access any data from the last 24 hours for free using a Python library called Yfinance. So I created a new script that would feed the AI the current price changes from the last five hours, and the AI would spit out a number between zero and one, which represents the chance that it will go up. Zero being unlikely and one being very likely. This seemed to work as the AI's output seemed pretty realistic, but I I didn't have a week to let it trade on its own, so instead I just developed a web interface for the AI, where it displays its current prediction based on the most recent data. I wouldn't use this for actual trading however, as the data that the AI is trained on is over 6 years old at this point. Maybe if I train it on some more recent data, it'd be more accurate. Anyway, that's pretty much the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed, and if you did, you should subscribe for some more programming content like this. Anyway, until next time, goodbye.